every third or fourth day, you could say that you were going to be in some kind of a battle. And I had to more or less fight for your life because if you didn't get them, they were going to get you. We were all very glad that, that it was over. And uh, the uh, just the thoughts that we didn't have to get out there and get on that line and, and expose ourselves 24 7, day in and day out, and be subject to being killed, and the fact that we had, we had made it. This film came on and it was sort of gray-blue skies. Suddenly I realized the morning of the 6th of June, the beginning of the greatest seaborne invasion in history. And I had this feeling that my eyes were the first eyes that hadn't been there who were seeing this day in color. And I watched this film unfold and on this ship and all these men with their flak jackets and anticipation of this day. And around a corner on the ship comes this man, helmet, jacket, and walks into a close-up, and it's my 37-year-old father. this at night and we dropped the paratroopers about 800 feet and uh, we're about 1500 now so it looks a lot different to fly over St. Mary Glace in the daylight and look down and see where we dropped the paratroops you know? now how does this work best Turn unbelievable and they let me sit in the cockpit up there and handle the controls just like old times. You know, we were part of it, but we weren't uh, necessarily the main part, but probably the first part. And uh, I, I, I think it was one wonderful experience. The uh, anti-aircraft started up, and the pilot had to take uh, evasive action, but we were all stood up then, ready to jump. Because you, you get up when the red light goes on, but as he, as he was taking evasive action over this anti-aircraft fire, even with that kit, kit bag on my leg, we were all touching the top of the fuselage and our feet weren't on the ground. I landed on this beach uh, first wave and I got wounded five times, twice, uh, three times on D-Day and twice on June 7th. I, I had to stop, I ran out of blood. The worst time for, for me was when uh, my buddy from Connecticut died in my arms because he was a good little old soldier. They're the ones that are responsible for guys like me and the rest of the vets you see to get back home. They paid the price. They're the heroes.